What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? You guys having fun? Are you, you guys are having a good time? Awesome. In case you didn't know, I am Jeff from the Overwatch team. Awesome. So, for those of you who have been following along, we've been talking about an event called Overwatch Archives. And Overwatch Archives lets you play through defining moments of Overwatch history, such as Tracer's first Overwatch mission, like Uprising, that we all played last year. Did you guys like Uprising? OK, awesome. But there are other events, such as the one that changed Overwatch history forever. Gabriel, start from the beginning. We arrived in the Venice safe house and set up surveillance on the manor. We executed our plan under cover of darkness. Are you sure you want to hear about this, Jack? You haven't left me much choice. Whatever happened to plausible deniability? A little late for that. Tell me what actually happened. <laughs> well, Jack, that's one hell of a story. Everyone through the breach. We're getting out of here. We need to head to the extraction point right away. So much for keeping a low profile. Still no sign of rescue. Someone deal with that assassin. Keep your distance from her. Feels like Talon is mobilizing an entire army to stop us. What about you? Anything to add? Where do you want me to start? <laughs> Jeff. What did we just see? All right, so this is the mission where we start to see a change in Gabrielle Reyes, who becomes Reaper, right? And we get to see Black Watch in the first mission where the public even knows about Black Watch. It's really fun. It takes place in Venice, Italy, in a map called Rialto. Um, and it's just a super awesome PVE mission, highly replayable. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, as a Reaper main, I am super pumped about this. <laughs> I, I just have to say it, man. Reaper main. I I, I'm super happy about this. All right, so Uprising and Retribution are part of this larger archives event. Can you tell us how this works? Yeah, absolutely. So last year we just called the event Uprising um, because it was the only event that we had, but we wanted to put a wrapper around everything where we could have more Overwatch missions be playable for people. And it's a really fun seasonal uh, event. So, you know, not only are we going to have Uprising available with uh, all heroes mode and story mode, Retribution has all heroes and story mode. Um, we'll have a, a loot box with tons of awesome skins. So. I think it'll be really fun. Nice, that's awesome. All right, so tell me, what's different about this brawl? Well, there's a lot different ab about this. I, I think we learned a lot from Uprising. Um, there's a, I think the flow is much better. You get to fight against Talon, which is awesome. It's our first time really seeing Talon units. And we, met, we made a bunch of brand new Talon units. So there's a Sniper, the Assassin, the Heavy Assault. Um, and a bunch of other ones that you'll see. Um, also, there's a lot more variance in the all heroes mode. Uprising, you kind of, it played very similarly every time. And one of the things the players were telling us was, hey, we want a lot more change. So when you play Retribution in all heroes mode, you'll see it change up a whole bunch. Nice, all right, that's awesome, that is awesome. Okay, so you guys have had a couple PVE events so far. Uh, Junkenstein's Revenge being one of my favorite. Any fans? Junkenstein's Revenge? <laughs> There's a couple here. Um, so 
I want to know, from your perspective, what is it about PVE that is different uh, than PvP for you guys? What, what does PVE bring to the table? Well, I think PVE brings a lot. First of all, players are constantly asking us for it. They want more story. Um, I think it also gives a lot of us an opportunity to play heroes we don't normally get to play. Like, for example, I play a lot of tanks and supports because it seems like my team always needs those more than DPS. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But, like, in, in Retribution, Genji is one of the heroes. I don't normally get to play Genji. And I feel like my Genji play got so much better as we were making this event. And I learned how to play Genji at a higher level to the point where I was now comfortable locking him in and playing him in PvP, which I thought was pretty cool. Nice. So you created more Genji main space. Yeah. And I learned awesome. How, <laughs> I can spam I need healing, too. I, I learned that. So, so now I won't get so mad when I see people insta like Genji. Awesome. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, I couldn't help but notice this uh, amazing map behind us. This is pretty dope. Could you tell us where this is? Uh, what's, where does this take place? Yeah, this is Rialto, which is a district of Venice, Italy. The team's been dying to do a map in Italy, so this was a great opportunity. Um, what you're seeing here is uh, Rialto at night, which is where the Retribution mission takes place. But I think one of the super awesome things about the Retribution event is that we will also be introducing Rialto during the day as a PvP map. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. So it, it, we need to go to the PTR with it first. It, it needs some testing. So Retribution will go live April 10th. And then we'll put the map to the PTR for some testing first. What type and, of map is it? Uh, it's a um, payload map. Oh, sweet. That's good. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Can't go wrong with those. All right, so one more thing. You know, as a big Reaper fan, I noticed the skin was part of the Origins you know, edition that we saw. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask about skins. Okay. <laughs> so uh, can we look forward to any skins? Okay, because Malik is a Reaper fan, we have another Reaper skin coming for this event. Yes! Yes! So, so the, coolest part, yes! the coolest part about the Reaper skin that's coming is the skin that, that uh, Gabriel Reyes has to wear on this mission is his Blackwatch Overwatch skin. Right. But we wanted to show what uh, Gabriel Reyes looked like when he was a part of the Super Soldier program. So you'll get Soldier 24, which is Gabriel Reyes. Hey. Kobe Bryant's number. That's appropriate. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, dude, this is all awesome. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us here today. Everybody, please give it up for Jeff one more time. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And uh, guys, that was a lot to digest. So I'm going to go backstage to do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to send it over to the guys at the desk. Puck it. Take it away, man. Thank you so much, Malik. Keep it going for Jeff. Yes.